Hello everyone. I recently ran into an issue on my Genos. Uh, we're trying to open up a playlist. I got the file not found or file name is inappropriate message. Uh, it was a little disheartening because I had everything collected into some favorites and uh, I had a nice collection of songs and all of a sudden I could not uh, open up these, these files anymore. And uh, it took me a little digging and there was some little help and guidance on some of the Genos uh, forums on Facebook. And you guys helped me out a little bit and pointed me in the right direction. What turns out to be is uh, when I first started with my Genos, I was using the top USB and I had uh, all the files I was loading into there, all the, the new styles from, from Yamaha. Um, and they came with their own playlists and that was uh, great for up top. Um, but what I wanted to do is get a more permanent solution and use the bottom USB. So I had just taken a blank USB and put that underneath in addition to the one on top. Now what happens when you plug the one underneath is that turns into USB one. So that USB one did not have the playlist that I had on the, uh, the USB drive on the top of the keyboard. So, of course, the file's not found, it would come up because it's trying to look for that USB one, which does not contain any of the messages. <laughs> so there's a couple different ways to fix this. The quick and easy way is to just copy the playlists uh, and the styles and folders from USB one over to USB two, and then uh, pop that underneath. And then I should be good to go. But I wanted to go into in a little bit further and discuss uh, what happens uh, with the playlists and how these are stored and how you can manipulate the files uh, to create your own um, on your PC. Because I find it a little bit easier to, to work with here. Whenever you download a playlist from Genos, uh, it comes with a folder with all the registration settings. And there's a one file in there called the TSV file. TSV file contains all the information about the registrations. Uh, and this is, this is the file you're going to want to edit if you want to change things around. So for me, what I wanted to do, I wanted to create a single playlist, uh, just called playlist. And I wanted to put all those, all those registration files and all the, uh, the playlists and then as well as one of my own favorites into that folder. In order to do that, I need to tweak every one of those TSV files to reflect the new location of the registration files. And to do that, we just have to open up Excel. And when you open Excel, you can just uh, browse for the file, but you have to make sure you're selecting all files. And then you can go to your playlist and then you can select the playlist you'd like to edit. So as you open this up, <coughs> You're going to want to make sure that you uh, keep it on delimited and click finish. And that'll open up all the file names, the titles and the path. And uh, what we want to do is I'm going to do file and replace because I'm going to change it from playlist for Genos to just the playlist folder to the root of the folder right there. So I'm going to take all this country and I'm going to change it from that location to playlist. And then I can do a replace all. So once I do that, we made 37 replacements. So it was nice and easy. And uh, so now everything, all the registration, all the references are in the root of the playlist folder. So then all I have to do is hit save. And uh, yes, you want to keep that format and then we can close it down. So as I'm progressing through this and doing these playlist updates, I'm just renaming them so I know where I'm at. So at this point, I just have two more to go. So that should be nice and easy where everything is at the root of the playlist folder. All the registrations are in there. And then I have my favorites all set. So those are all updated as well. So a uh, quick and fast, easy to uh, easy way to uh, update these uh, these playlist files and I hope this helps you. Thank you.